When Duran started meditating, for some reason, I instantly thought of Piccolo, another badass who meditates and also has some epic telekinesis abilities. I know many other characters did that too, but for some reason, Piccolo is the one who came to my mind. Duran currently is being a total savage and started meditating in the middle of the battle. Basically, he thinks no one is worth fighting him, and he has created an energy wall surrounding him that weaker fighters can't break through. According to this theory, Piccolo will gain a new level of power so mighty that it could be called godly, and that's what will break Jiren out of the meditation. In Dragon Ball Z, up to Cell Saga, Piccolo was one of the most deadliest Z fighters and holds the record of being the strongest Z fighter for some moments. Then, in Buu Saga, we see him become kind of irrelevant mainly because he wasn't into training throughout those years. It was a bad decision from plot perspective and fans didn't like it. Dragon Ball Super wants to fix that and after Resurrection F, Piccolo started training again, meaning Piccolo is all set to regain his status as a serious, impactful fighter who makes a difference. This is not an assumption, the point has been 100% clearly shown in Dragon Ball Super. In episode 87, Piccolo says to Gohan, did you think I was nothing while you were studying and researching? So Piccolo got his fighting spirits back, trained hardcore and demonstrated his development. In that episode, Gohan went all out against Piccolo. He went Super Saiyan 2 but was completely outmatched by Piccolo and he almost killed himself back to his base form. Not only that, that's not where it ends either, bros. Piccolo again tells Gohan to give everything he has. So Gohan uses his mystic form with a new layer of power which astonished Piccolo. But still, Piccolo got better even of that encounter as he caught Gohan off guard using a never before seen technique, where he was able to use his hand, which was detached from his body, to launch a key attack. That's one of the little yet coolest techniques in Super, and guys, this form of Gohan even put up a decent challenge against Super Saiyan Blue Goku. So this means Piccolo is not only training hardcore, but he's so into it, he's developing new techniques. So DBS is basically planning to bring back this fan favorite character with all his might, as one of the most little fighters. However, despite setting up Piccolo to dominate again, till now in the tournament of power, Piccolo has been in the shadows and only got one elimination. Millions around the world ask themselves one question, one question every day before they go to sleep, after they wake up and stand right in front of the mirror. Why did characters like Master Roshi, Tien and Krillin got more eliminations and action than Piccolo, who made his return as a fighter and defeated SSG2 Gohan and then Mystic Gohan? And every time we get one answer, that is a blast, a grand plot is all ready to fire for Piccolo in this later half of the tournament, which is why he has not been very active in the first half, has been in the shadows, just like the two Namekians of Universe 6 who were not shown to the audiences before recently. Piccolo got back in action and is directly engaging in combat with them. Why? Because these two Namekians are here to work as elements to boost Piccolo. Because Piccolo will absorb these two Namekians, meaning now it's a 5 Namekian fusion with Nail, Kami, and these two being a part of Piccolo. With this, Piccolo becomes a super Namekian god and earns the attention of Jiren. In Dragon Ball Super episode 112, Kabe got eliminated leaving Universe 6 with only 4 fighters and not even the 4 strongest given their biggest weapon Hitman Head is already eliminated. Now this is particularly weird given Universe 6 is a major and popular universe and you would expect them to fight hard till the end but at this point they are totally falling apart. Like their better half is completely gone. All six fighters who were in the last tournament is out of the equation. 
I don't think Cauliflower will make it to the end and although Kale might become shockingly powerful, she is not intelligent or experienced enough to survive alone in such a format, especially if Cauliflower gets eliminated. Cauliflower will fight Goku in the next episode and Kale will eventually take on and fight him on episode 114 and I fear she might get thrown out of the stage. Now episode 112 contained an interesting segment before Kabe got eliminated and with his master Vegeta, where they basically promised whoever wins they will wish back the other using Super Dragon Balls, so Universe 6 and 7 is realizing that if they totally helped the other to win, it wouldn't really be a loss. And the idea here is, what if for the sake of this tournament they become one? Like Universe 6 stands no chance, they just do not have any shot at winning it by themselves. So what if they become a part of Universe 7? Imagine this, Cauliflower and Kale is eliminated. The last two survivors are the two Namekians, now they know and everyone else knows that they won't be able to do shit alone. So Piccolo gives them an offer, let's unite, look you guys can't do it alone. I'm a better fighter than both of you, let me absorb you and we stand a chance. After the tournament I will wish to defuse and set you all free. Or the offer could come from the end of those two Namekians, as in bro wait please don't eliminate us we have a better idea, since you totally kicked our asses you are certainly better, we volunteer to be a part of you. Now that would give Piccolo an insane power boost and could literally give him powers unimaginable before. Before absorbing Kami, Piccolo was far behind the Super Saiyans but after merging, he had surpassed them both and remained the strongest Z fighter for quite a while. Imagine Piccolo just agreeing and absorbing them but ending up with powers to such an extreme level that even he is surprised. It catches everyone's attention, every fighter is looking and guess what, even Jirin is impressed and comes out of his meditation. It might not be about raw power of Piccolo but rather the magical unique level of power created due to this fusion is what intrigues them. Piccolo is an intelligent and analytical fighter. With that level of power, he would be able to see through things better. He will not be as strong as Goku, but he will have new troublesome techniques and might just figure out some of Jiren's secret. I believe Jiren is not all about power, something is up with this dude. And once you figure that out, your job might become significantly easier. So my guess is this god level Piccolo will fight Jiren find his weakness, try to take advantage of it but fail and get eliminated by Jiren. However, Goku now knowing Jiren's secret thanks to Piccolo and other attempts of it will take down Jiren. I understand that this is a highly stretched theory and is unlikely to happen but this is something that should happen. Take a look at some of the things, where are they heading with U6, usually you would expect hit Kabe and such fighters to be among the last survivors but instead they're left with two Namekians and they were certainly trying to do something with them from the beginning. For a long time they were not shown to us the audiences and they're now popping near the end of it. Maybe because the purpose they have to serve was only required at this part. Meanwhile, Piccolo has been in the shadows and only got one elimination in this tournament. So you can see a pattern there, maybe it's going as planned. This is not even that far stretched, like Piccolo used to have this level of involvement when he was active, right? The first fight against Frieza for example, he didn't bring him down but he did possess a challenge anyway. The thing is, I make theories like that, knowing the possibility of it actually happening is minimal. Yes, this is kind of wishful thinking but this is also a fan sharing how the plot could go much more interesting. For those of you who will comment this is never gonna happen, okay, I get it. But then what will happen? Like the rest of the four gets eliminated, U6 is erased, maybe triggering some U7 fighters or maybe someone from U6 surviving till the last few minutes. On the other hand, Piccolo just putting up an ordinary performance, nothing shocking and we back to the Saiyans again. You can't tell me that it's better than exploring something as unique as a Namekian god 
or let us not be that specific, just simply Piccolo getting a huge power boost and dominating a bit. I mean, I cannot believe fans will prefer more Saiyan action and transformation over this. How many more times will we keep getting Super Saiyan this and that over and over again? Characters like Piccolo are Dragon Ball originals and are totally badasses, freaking use them. He alone is just so refreshing and could bring so much unique value to the show, it's stupid not to utilize it. So yeah, I kind of came up with this rather wishful theories to point out this epic suggestions within the realm of plot possibilities. Whether you agree with this theory or not, personally, would you like to see something like this? Comment your opinion down below. See you in the next Dragon Ball Super video.